All right, how's it going, everybody? We are back. And as you can see, we have some red circuits here. I uh, did put in a second line over here and definitely got to do some more work over here uh, with copper and stuff like that. Um, and I have put a little bit of a hold on the idea we had last time. I talked with XAR about it and for anybody that doesn't know um, he's sort of the one that got me into uh, Factorio and he I take his advice from time to time. He's the one that built my uh, solar panel blueprint that I use. Um, I'm actually trying to find it here. Uh, it should be in here somewhere. It may be in the book, but, um, this one. He built this for me. Um, and I was talking to him about the logistics behind that setup, and what I was trying to accomplish and he says that one of my biggest issues with trying to do it is going to be um, bottlenecking myself basically um, and I've been thinking about it and he brought up one thing that he's absolutely right about I never I always try to build on top of myself. I always try to build in too small of an area. Now, granted, I have a pretty big size factory area here compared to what I normally do, but is it really a problem having these going up further on this side? And does it really make sense that I have this area so close to where these trains are. Now, I think what I'm going to do um, before I do much of anything with the design idea we had was try to optimize the area that I'm taking up here. Um, I've got this figured out up here to be just about as optimal as I can get it with the amount of space between these. Uh, which looks like it's about four tracks. And down here we've got... Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, see there's five tracks here. So I could put all of these in one track. Because I don't need this space right here. I only really need to be able to go down. And then to an area between them. Uh, I still like the idea that I had. And I think I could make it work. And I still want to try something like that. I'm just not 100% yet what that something is going to be. Because the biggest problem I have is the space I will be using and the bottleneck of sorting. Because with that sorting system that I was talking about, I've tried this uh, before with doing this. And just like with this belt, there's a certain amount of things that can go through this at one time. It's the same thing for these. And so if I had two belts coming in here and they both had the same thing on it, they're only going to be able to put out what one belt can handle. And so if I had four trains come in, 
all at the same time. Really? They have to keep coming and hitting at night when the solar towers can't do anything about it. Um, I've been trying to deal with the biters and I am going to have to do what I normally do and just run a um, line of bullets across that bottom. Now, I have put turrets here, turrets here, and turrets here, which all have bullets. So as long as they don't try to nest down here, they'll be taken care of. I'm not worried about them. Um, I want to work on getting the... robot plant frames done today but I also want to get this dealt with today as well because um, we have a definite need for those red loaders um, those red loaders are being a major bottleneck for the day um, so we're going to work on hooking that up here first and then we will work on the flying robot frames. I'm just working on how to get this down here. I really should and probably will take a bit of time once I get some bots to help me move things around a bit. Uh, work on getting things a little more optimized around here. Alright, so now we can do this. Uh, we're going to move this over to here. That will take care of getting those into there. And then we can do this. Move that out. Uh, we're going to copy this. Paste it to there. And we're actually going to put this here. That will take care of that. Uh, wait a minute, that paste I did didn't do correctly because I didn't do both of them. I have to do this. There we go. And so now that should be set to anything and 50. Uh, this definitely needs to be a fast inserter there. All right, and now we have our red loaders finally. And the reason why we need the red ones is for down here, which is gonna be another part that we're going to be changing soon. Um, I'm actually amazed that it's doing as well as it's doing right now. They're I almost got hit by that. Um, there must be something else bottlenecking it at the moment because we have been having major issues with the uh, wires the way I've been thinking I was going to do these wires. I'm thinking I was wrong and we're going to be doing it differently. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything coming out of here, so... What is the... Hold-up? The hold-up will be plastic. We do not in any way have enough plastic in here. So we need to figure out why. 
We should not have a hold up on plastic. We have all the things for making plastic over there, or we did. So we're going to jump over there and take a look at that here real quick. And then we're going to work on getting these flying robot frames made. But it's going to be really nice having those uh, loaders. Uh, while we're running over here... Okay, we don't have any other of those. We also need to work on the uh, logistics chest, getting those made, but that's part of making bots. Alright, so what's our problem over here? Why do we have so little plastic coming out here? We have got almost no benzene at the moment. Why do we have very little benzene at the moment? We have very little coal gas. We have very little coal gas because we are full of uh, coal coke. How in the world did that end up happening? Uh, didn't we have coal gas also coming in? Didn't we set up two ways of making... I swore we had a different way we were getting coal gas. Uh, huh. Have we seriously filled up an entire of oh, hell we have. Alright, well, we may have to go back to just doing petroleum and coal then. Uh, let's take a look here. Coal gas is made. Coal gas, heavy oil, and steam, yeah, this is the one I was thinking about that we set up. That was giving us our other way of making coal gas. Hmm. And my guess is that we are... Uh, that's running and we're full on kerosene. So that's why those aren't running. Yeah, we're completely full on kerosene. And if we come over here, we don't have very much diesel. So we just need more of these set up, turning our kerosene into diesel. Okay, that's not a problem. That's definitely not a problem. We can do that. Uh, how are we doing? We've got lubricant, heavies, very full fuel, very full. Um, let's go ahead and do this. We need to get this over here for our uh, robot frames. Let's go ahead and do this while we're over here. We have plenty of red circuits at the moment, so I'm not real worried about those. I will check that out after we get done. Okay. So, flying robot frame. So that's what we're going to start with today. 
And to make those, we need energy crystals, batteries, our advanced circuits, our engine units, our steel mechanical parts, and lubricant. So that is six things that we need to get into one of these. And we're going to do this way up here, away from all of this. Uh, because we're going to need a pretty good amount of these, I feel. Um, I think we're going to start with four. How quick do these make? Yeah, they take 20 seconds to craft one. We are going to need a ton of machines making these. Because we're going to be using a lot of bots. Um... Let's start with a basic setup here first. I don't want to do this the way I was just thinking. Um, we're going to have six things going in here. Um, it's 20 seconds, so really no matter what it shouldn't take, there's one of those, two of those, five of those, four of those. So the ten mechanical parts is the part that's going to take the longest to get in there. But since it takes 20 seconds, getting ten in there isn't going to be an issue. So if we do it like this, this is going to be two, four six and then that's the output so two four six and that's the output and then we have this here and we put another one here we're gonna run our lines up the side here and then we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it here basically just like this so this is going to be our base setup here. Um, this is going to be the output, so it doesn't need to be red. Uh, these probably don't as well. Okay. Now, getting the fluid into this area is going to be easy. We're just going to do this. And then we'll have this down here. Do we need to do that? Can we do this. We need to have these here. We need to have these here. So then we can have these here, right? And we can put these over here and then another one like here. This one would take care of the machine. This would take care of these. And then this would be like this. This would go like that. And this would go like that. Yeah, that would work just fine. Okay. So instead, we can get rid of this. That'll clean that up just a little bit. And then we just need to run this down and connect it to our line wherever the hell 
it came in at, which is all the way down here. And I gotta grab some pipes. Alright, so let me go grab some pipes. Uh, actually, let me grab some plates and some regular pipes. And then I can just make me a few of these here. Once I get the bots, they can bring me the shit. And then I don't have to worry about that any longer. Alright, you do have to be right there. Okay. So now we'll just do that. This will come to here. Go there. And do I not have any regular... There we go. Alright, so we got our lubricant up there. Alright, now we gotta get everything else up here that we need. And we're gonna use... Uh, that runs way down there. So we're gonna have a separate one of these. And we can run it in here. Okay, that'll take care of those. We need to get batteries over here, which batteries should be. Uh, we need these as well. The batteries should be running in from. Yeah, batteries are right here. So we can grab them off of here. Um, where's going to be the easiest place? We don't need that. So we can go ahead and just grab the batteries right off of here. And we can run this up. And we'll go ahead and have it go on to there. Uh, we want the yeah we're gonna change this to go there because we want the these here steel component part things. We want these close. So we're going to bring these across here. Just not there. Uh, we're going to bring these actually up this way. And they're going to come in on this one. Yeah, you're gonna be a turd. Hold on a minute. I gotta get some more of those. Okay, give me a stack of those. And we'll go ahead and grab half a stack of those just to make sure we got enough of them 
along there. Let's get these steel parts over here. That'll take care of that part. All right. Uh, energy crystals we're going to have come in on this side. So we've got... Oh, we haven't got the advanced circuits. The one thing we've uh, been doing all this work for. And we actually didn't get those put in yet, so... Yeah, let's get that part next. There we go. That takes care of that. Alright, let's get started on... This... I'm gonna want that... There... Uh, that's actually not going to hit. Oh, it is. That is going to hit all of them. Uh, but we've got this one. I didn't think about that. This needs to be here. And then this one will have to be there. We're going to have to have these, like, every one of these... Pretty much, they're going to have to touch all the way up. Alright, and then I also just thought about it. This does not need to be there. Because we can actually put these right here on the other side of these. And then we can have these actually like that. All right, that works. So the only thing we're missing is the energy crystal. I'm gonna go ahead and change out this belt to be yellow. And we have energy crystals coming in over here so we can just bring this up over top of there and then we're going to go straight up because again I don't want to mess with this area too awful much so we might want to use that for something I'm also thinking that we didn't use this area right here. We could even put in a few more of these down here. I may change the way that is set up so we can do so. But that will make our first flying robot frames. Now, the only thing we have to do is basically finish the job here by getting all of these set up like that and there's our first two flying robot frames all right so now we need to get the logistics bots and we need to get the construction bots which are basically the same, just one uses advanced circuits and one uses regular circuits. Uh, these take 0.5 seconds to craft, so we are not going to need a lot of these. How in the world am I out of those already? Um, I think these robot frames might be one of the things that I actually buffer as a intermediate item. 
a lot of times I'll try to do things and not buffer them. But with these, since we're going to need them kind of sporadically, um, but then probably a bunch at a time, I think we're just going to do a chest of them. And I'm pretty sure we're going to go through that whole chest. And I think what we're going to do here is we're going to have our two circuits on this. This is going to go here and go like this. I'm pretty sure. And then we're going to have these two. This will be for logistics bots. This will be for construction bots. And we'll just have uh, this grab from there for the two of those. And then we'll have uh, basically both circuits on this one line here. So we can have the green one uh, come in on this one. We can have a red one. We can just bring it in like this. This is a little messy. Don't get me wrong. But doesn't really matter how messy it is. It matters what it does. Let me grab those. Alright. So that'll take care of that part we're going to need a well let's take inventory of what we actually need here because on top of needing both of these we also need a robo port which is also going to need steel beams so we could put steel beams on this same line over here the problem with doing that is that I'm then going to have flying robot frames continuing off that I don't need. So how about we don't do that? Now, that is a robot replacer requester chest. What in the world is that? I have no idea what a robot replacer requester chest is. So we're going to ignore that that exists. Logistical network interface. Interfaces with the nearest logistic network to assign jobs. Um, that is a nanobot early bot thing. Apparently, and it's not something we can currently do because it needs a radar. And we haven't gotten radars yet. So we can ignore that for right now. But it needs the RoboPort anyway, so... It'll go past where the robo port is. And then the other thing we're going to need are going to be these. Uh, that's a container. That's a filtered container or filtering container. Um, I don't know that I care. We might make it and look at it. Uh, but I think these are going to go down yonder. I don't think we need them up here. And then we have the logistics 
uh, for the bigger ones as well. Alright, and y'all may laugh, I don't know what in the world I need a passive provider for. I'd never use them. So we're not even going to be making those. Um, so I guess we're just going to put a thing in here. And we'll put the steel beams on there. And we're also going to need, because we're going to have the robo ports made right here. Because they're going to need the red as well. And then we'll have the steel mechanical and the steel beam come in on this one. So we'll move that down here. We're also going to have to have concrete. Which I'm not sure we even have concrete coming in here yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this and yeah we should be able to snake this right through here and we're going to set up one of these Yeah, I was worried about you. Um, even a red one won't come through here because it's not going to fit. And if we come down to here, that will fit. Okay. That's what we're going to do. And then we can jump this over like that. And that takes care of all of that. This, that, and that will get us our bots. And our bots are going to go um, into chests. You guys are going to sit right there for just a moment. That's what you're going to do. Uh, do I have the... I don't know if we have the personal... Logistics bots... Construction bots. That does not give us the... Personal robo port. Okay, where is the. Well, we don't have personal robo port because we don't have the right armor for personal robo port. We need this. And to get that, we need military three. So we gotta do military three next. Go ahead and get that started. And then the next thing we're going to need to get to the personal robot port is modular armor. So we need to do that. And then that will give us our personal robot port. We have spiderlings. What in the hell are spiderlings? Huh. 
Well, while we're here, let's go ahead and get the batteries, that, and that. And amazingly, we still haven't figured out where radars are. I really need to figure out where radars are. Um, they're going to be very important. Oh, what I'm thinking is I need to have a chest. Which will say there and there. And that would be big enough. To put a robo port here, but not big enough because I need to be able to put the robots into a robo port. And what I'm thinking is I still need to get concrete in here. Do I want to bring concrete in basically like here? Or do I want to bring concrete in, say, over here, and then have it come up here? I think I'm doing this. I do believe. So let's take a look at concrete, which I'm pretty sure we do not have coming in here yet. So we can easily figure that out by coming down here. Oh, and another thing I need to work on very soon is stone production. Because we're running out of stone. Because I do not have enough of these in here making stone. Okay, so here's our concrete, which is just filling up a box. So that means we don't have them on a train. So obviously we do not have it going up yonder. I'm going to grab a little bit of it for the moment. I need to figure out where I'm putting in... and how I'm putting in concrete. Uh, we need to probably start mining a deep copper node unless we have any other copper on the map. We have four copper there, we have four copper there. Uh, then we have Copper Chunk, Copper Chunk. And I think there might be another one around here. Uh, actually, no, that might be our closest to... Oh yeah, we've got all of these up here as well. Alright, so I'm probably going to go and set up a mining operation for this copper and get it sent down there soon. It's the nice thing about having that warehouse is we can fill it up a ton and I won't have to really worry about it too awful much. And I may go ahead and set up the deep miners on those other nodes as well. Let's go ahead and just dump that into there. We're going to put that there, which will take care of getting that in. And that. And then we should end up with our... bots here in a second. Uh, is this going to be quick enough? 
Oh, and I'm also going to do this for right now. Dump that into there. And then just have it go out like that. Um, oh yeah, we're going to definitely set up two of these. Okay. So that would fit in between them. But we wouldn't have enough room to do what I'm thinking. So we're going to have to do basically this. I want to get this part set up first. So we're going to do this. Yeah, we want to do it like this, and then like that. Okay. So then this, that will go there. They can start going into there. And we're going to connect both of them up like that. And then we want to use read statistics uh available logistics bots total logistics bots i used to do this as a total but i think i'm going to go to available and what we're going to do is we're going to tell it as of right now we want Fifty available is what we're gonna do. So we want Y, uh, X, and Z. So we want X and fifty. So enable this hand when the we have less than 50 available bots. So that means it should give us 50 in here. And then we want to do the same thing for this at 50 as well. So we should not, why are you giving me more than 50? What did I do wrong? Why is it more than 50? This one isn't, that one is. That is at 14. X is available logistics. Z is available X is less than 50. Hmm. Z is less than 50. Hmm. I am thoroughly confused. Ignore that. We'll deal with that in a minute. How bad? Hmm. That's bad. What made it turn on? So we do that. Get rid of that. Logistic network contact. Available item for the... It sends them to the circuit network. Reads the number of robots in the logistics network of this RoboPort and sends it to the logistics network. This right here 
should be telling me right now that we have how many? 79, 79, 73, and 73. So shouldn't that be giving me... See, right now they're both red. Is it because there wasn't enough power in it that it couldn't read it? If I take this and this out, they're still both red. Okay. Put those back in that one. Put these back in that one. Now, if I take 25 of those out, well, I obviously did this backwards. This one is supposed to be X. This one is supposed to be Z. Take those back out and put them back in there. All right, that should take that back up to 50. Why are you not making any more? Oh, because you don't have any of the frames. Okay, well that's fine. All right, now I got it doing what I wanted it to do. And then I'm just gonna throw 10 of these in here for me because I'm gonna need them once I get that done. All right. So that takes care of that. Now, we need to get the concrete going in there for those. So that will get done. And then we need a box for our uh, rubber ports to go into. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that one here. And we're gonna tell it that we just want 10 of those. Uh, no, let's do like 20. I shouldn't need more than 20 at a time. If I do, we'll make them. All right, so now we can start setting up some basic uh, logistic ports around the place. That way the logistics bots can move things back and forth, which main place they're gonna be needing to move things is to me. I'm not real worried about being able to move things around the factory. I'm worried about them bringing them to me. So we need this right there. But I'm going to move it up to there. Uh, we could just to try to keep this straight, we could actually move that down. Yeah, that'll be fine just right there. And then we can hook that one up. That one's already hooked up. So that'll take care of most of that area. And then we'll put another one over here. So the next thing we need to work on is our chess. Which again, like XAR told me, I always build on top of myself. And I don't really have room to get my chess out of here. Because I didn't think about that. So I need to probably rip this area out of here 
and make my logistics chest in another area. Now, I'm not going to... I'm going to almost guarantee that I'm not going to need these. Um, I can't think of a whole lot of reason that I would be needing logistics bots or uh, construction bots to pick up ore. And that's the main thing that's going to be going into these. These, possibly. These are the main ones I need, are those. And tons of them. And we've been here for an hour working on this. So I think we're going to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to take a quick second to look at what's going on over here with our uh, science. Aha, no steam. Because we still have this set up using up the rest of our steam. So we need to get rid of that. And we need to hook this up for actual power. Which it looks like this is the only part that still had, oops, put that back. Can't believe that steam lasted really that long. It lasted pretty long in there. All right, so I'll get this changed out. And I will see you guys next time and we will work on getting this stuff made if most of that should be able to get done reasonably quickly uh we're up to needing 403 so we may have to extend out this area again a bit more uh, but I think we have done a fair bit of work today. Uh, I am out of blue ones too. And we finally unlocked the ability to have bots, so that is a major accomplishment. And I'll see you guys next time.